Detective Comics issue 981 concludes the General and Brother Eye's domination of Gotham as Spoiler and Orphan take over the Belfry 2.0, drawing in all of the Omax to their location. Batman follows after them and helps Orphan keep them from reaching Spoiler, and during the fight Batman apologises for dragging Orphan back into the battle, but she reveals she saw herself as a Bat family member and this is where she is meant to be. Kate meanwhile continues to see her future and even an older Bruce Wayne, who is setting up Brother Eye to self-destruct and destroy the files on the Bat computer, his vehicles and all of his weapons. Signaling he is done with being Batman, Kate and the government won't need to worry about him anymore. Saying his goodbyes and leaving a message for his family, Bruce is killed by Kate. Because of this, the real team begins pushing through the Brother Eye programming and returns as the system begins to destabilize. The General is upset that the real future has been revealed to Tim and says he was once the greatest Robin who became Batman and ended crime. Stephanie cuts into his feed trying to convince Tim that he was making a Bat dystopia and she knows Tim Drake would never want anything like that to happen. The system fails and Steph knocks out the General, stopping the Omax and Brother Eye. As the Belfry falls, the return Tim and Kate make amends. Tim says his dream of a unified Bat family and a unified place for them turned ugly and Kate tells him that it's time for new dreams and instead of worrying about the future, he should dream about a better present. In the following weeks, Bruce and Kate also make up and Bruce says that the colony is finally finished, leading to Kate to say she is done as well and she is going to be focusing on herself as Batwoman. Kate, however, is still working with her father, who is secretly directing her to a new coven of the religion of crime. Cassandra, meanwhile, meets with Barbara Gordon, who is going to help tutor her until she is ready to enroll in high school. The two women immediately get along and as they do, a very alive Basil Carlo leads leaves a note for Cassandra before leaving Gotham with Victoria October. Bruce meanwhile helps Tim pack for Ivy University, telling him he is really proud of him. Hugging him, Bruce tells him that he always has a place here in Gotham if he ever wants to come home, but he has to come home on his own terms. As Tim heads off into the sunset with Stephanie, Batman patrols the city and Alfred alerts him to Tim's car not going to Ivy University. Bruce trusts him however and as the bat signal goes up, he says to Alfred that the future can wait and he tells him to contact Jim Gordon and tell him he's on his way and everything will be okay. Detective Comics issue 981 was James Tynan's final issue in his absolutely amazing run on the book. I'm sad to see him go as he brought some much needed character development to the wider Batman family and villains of Gotham. Not only that, but the book was totally a fun read, filled with action, drama, humour, horror and everything in between. It made me appreciate and care for characters like Clayface and Cassandra Kane, and made them more relevant than they have been in many years. One of the best eras of Batman has just ended with a really great Brother Eye story and I'm interested to see what's going to be happening with these characters moving forward with a bunch of new writers. I'm going to give this issue a 10 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.